Hello and welcome to the Football Debate Show. Well, it's Derby Week again and me and Ian are joined by Fred Pratt, who's a blue, and Ian Sterling, who's a red, I think it's fair to say. You're very welcome, chaps. That, you. Like, you were electric last time you were here. Do you remember, Ian, last time these two I were here? I do remember last time these two were You don't right. have to say out, just let them go. Just poked them. Them go. Just poked them. It was great. <laughs> so, we've got semi-final first leg, albeit a little bit delayed, Fred. After Saturday, are you still confident? Yeah, very much so. Yeah, I want us to get beat tomorrow night, 1-0, so we can go to Old Trafford and snot them 3-0. <laughs> That'd be a great way to go to the finals, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I'm very confident, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Man City will have them going and we'll have the right team out. And, yeah, I mean, they're sort of on the down, aren't they? In a bit, they'll be our feeder club. <laughs> <laughs> Don't rise to debate this early in. Prime Arnie would have to buy in the ground. <laughs> He's peaked too soon. You know, what's it? <laughs> <laughs> Should we go home now, Ian? Don't need us, do they? Listen, look, there's only one team out of our two that got three points on Saturday. Yeah, over the weekend. We got the three points. They were found out against Everton. The first good team that Mancini's come up against, and they were found out. Substituted a substitute. The, you know, million-dollar man, $32 million man, Rubinho, bang, he's gone. Can't play. They should pay him only half his wages, because he only ever plays at home, never plays away. You know, they're going to come to Old Trafford. We'll do them. There'll be tears down at the wastelands after they don't, you know, reach the final at Wembley. Now, Ian, you know I don't miss much, but I detect no. a slight bias either side of a fence here. Would you, you like so? to bring... A measure of calm to the proceedings. I'll try, I'll try. It's going to be an, well, an excellent game. I think everyone will agree. It's a fantastic tie for the City. And it's a great way for United to say to City, you know, listen, we're still the top dogs in this town. And it's a great way for City to say, hang on a minute, no, it's us who are coming through. Mm -hmm. And to beat United over two legs and get to the first final for a while, you know, it's a great opportunity for them to do that as well. So just in terms of the City, it's just a fantastic spectacle, isn't it, really? Well, I think it is. Alex Ferguson said today, though, Ian, that he's going to put out a strongish side. What does that mean? <laughs> it, it could mean anything. We've got, you know, uh, I think it's been something like 100 and plus games since we've put out the same team each game. So it, there's going to be changes, there's going to be major changes. Uh, it's the defence, really, which I think is going to be the, the, the main key. Who's going to play in defence? Is Vidic, is, is Ferdinand back? Is he going to give Gary Neville another chance? Because <laughs> I, th I think every game that he's played so far, he's uh, he's not really done the done the done the business. Beating was beat. He was uh, beating him for pace every single time uh, against Burnley. Um, so you know, it's I, I just want a team to go out and that's going to do the job. You won't yeah. want to lose to City in a semi, Fred. I think it's fair to say City are going to go full blob for this, though, aren't they? Oh, big star, yeah. Yeah, they're going to really go out. It's going to be, a, it's going to be attacking formation. But I don't, <clears throat> I don't think Mancini's going to get too excited if it's nil nil at half time. We, we, we can still go to Old Trafford and win anyway. And, and, and the City fans, that's where we want to do it. You know, that's that's where I want a party coming out of Old Trafford, knocking them out. We might get an indirect free kick <laughs> in the last five minutes. The goalie might just parry it away, and someone might run in and it's in. Fanny Lee might some of the 1970, brilliant. Listen, you, you, you've been to Old Trafford once, and we spanked you. We did it. You know, we kept letting you catch up, and we you know we left it to there. And uh, our man Michael Owen there, you know, he, 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 did, know, you he did the business for us. You scored that, that fourth goal, and goals on Sunday was coming on. City the were on that pitch just as long as United were to, to be able to I'll score. I'll get the cheesy you know, in it. It's, it. That's it. We did it. You know, we've already gone there. We're, you know, we, we're yet to hit form, and I'm hoping this is our chance where we're, we're going to be really up for it. Uh, he's going to put out, you know, a, a good, strong team. I don't want to see the youngsters played for this. The last thing I want to see is City get into a final, you know, possibly beat in Villa. Well, it looks like it's Villa who's going to get there. You know, we want, you know, that little ticker on our Stretford end to be, you know, to drop down to four, so you know we can uh, we can sing 35 years and roll on 35. But a few weeks ago, when Man, Man U were in four competitions, the League Cup didn't mean anything, did it? Oh, if we get you in the semi final, we'll put a bump team out like that. I mean, Fergie said <laughs> I, that. I don't remember Fergie <laughs> saying that. said today, apparently, he said, I'm not going to play Ryan Giggs or Ferdinand. Knock him back. First two out on that pitch, it'll be Giggs and Ferdinand. So, Fair yeah, enough. That's we, a look, look, it, it, we I want Ferdinand to play. Great, fantastic. He's just it? behind Gary Neville as our thirteenth man. Well, to be, oh, well, I, mean, I was going to say something about Gary Neville. Like, he's not had a good season so far, and I think uh, retirement should beckon for him. Right. Well, these two pause for breath here. Well, you yeah. were telling me a bit before about Mancini has got big aspirations for City now, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah, he's been speaking in his press conference today, um, and he said that he wants City to be as big as United. And he thinks he can do. 
United have a, a big history. It's a good team uh, from many years. Uh, City can uh, became a, a big team in the next uh, next year for me, and it's possible. Uh, and for me, it's better for the Manchester for Manchester if the if the city is a big club for the future because uh, Manchester has two big club uh, in Champions League. It's the most important. That is possible. So, Mr. Mancini, with some aspirational thoughts there, Fred. But Ian, I'll come to you on this one first. Money does talk in football, and there's no doubt about it. Yeah. Or lack the moment, of it. Maybe City could really aspire to go up there because they're not going to come up short on the financial front, are they? No, you're right. It's uh, they're, they're going to be on the market for every player going. Um, if Kaka has anything to go by, <laughs> you know, not, not everyone will go just go by for the money for the, you know the daft money that they offered him. Finances plays a big part in football now. Uh, Don't we know it? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's it's. It, it, our worst fears have been laid out in front of us with this prospectus that the Glazers have put together for the bonds, and it's it's what the supporters trust. It's what uh, the supporters associations have been saying for years for the for the dangers. But yeah, you're right. City, you know, they've got the they've got the money behind them now. It's uh, they could become a powerhouse. Uh, it could happen all for the luck of uh, a wealthy owner coming well, along. We'll, we'll talk a, a bit more detail about football finance yeah. a bit later because obviously it's a very hot topic. Mm. But Fred, while we stick with footballers. What have you made about the Rubinho situation where he subbed the sub on Saturday? Well, he's going he's got to be in that elite few, isn't he, that have been subbed as a sub. Mm. I mean, Rubinho, I, I just don't think he's got it. I don't think he's arts, in it? And fair play to Mancini, he said he wants more F out of him. Well, he had a great opportunity on, the, on Saturday. And people are saying he made the wrong substitution. I think he put him on there to see what he could do, and he did naff. He didn't want to know. He didn't, you know, so... I mean, he played a very, very good Everton side um, on, on, on Saturday. He worked really hard. And Ian said before, it's the first good team we've come across. Well, it is, and we're not going to come off another one for a few weeks because the next <laughs> team we play aren't really that good. <laughs> so, uh, well, the table would say otherwise, Fred. You know, it's, uh, you've had your chances. Uh, you know, all the games that you drew, you know, you, you, you could have... You know, you could have yeah, turned them into a few more points. It didn't happen. You know, you got rid of a manager. You got rid of a very good manager. You know, uh, Mancini has yet to prove himself. He was your secret agent, by all accounts. Well, as far as the draws go, every club goes through a bad spell in the season. And we, and I think that was years. The, But the Ian, draws. that story, let me ask you as a journalistic, because, again, there is a certain vested interest. What did you make as a journo of... Mm. The decision by Mancini because to sub a sub who costs you £32 million does yeah. take a modicum of something, doesn't it? I, it's a statement, isn't it? It's a statement. People have said before about Mark Hughes when he was in charge that he needed to play certain players and things like that. It's way, Mancini's way of saying, listen, I'll give you a chance. Um, you know, we've paid a, a lot of money for him. He is undoubtedly a talented footballer, but it's a way of Mancini saying, well, I'm in charge and if I don't see my players on the pitch, no matter how much they've cost, no matter what their reputation, not giving their all for the club, then I'll take you off and I'll, I'll do that. And, he has, and he's done it. And if Rubinho learns from it and ends up becoming a better player for it and a greater servant to City, then that's obviously the right decision. It's interesting though, Fred, when you get a player like Rubinho, and there have been plenty down the years, English players as well as foreign players, we want to see them, but we don't seem to quite trust players who bring artistry rather than... We always want them to put a shift in as well as bring a bit of talent to the table, don't we? Oh, I, think, I think most talented players have put a shift in, haven't they? I mean, you can't... It, it, what, what, not, I mean, I was at Goodison on, on, on Saturday, and, and, and what, what now the City fans was... If, if it's a 50-50 ball, even though you're not going to win it, at least make the effort, and Rubinho hasn't done that. I mean, there's been players over the years who, who, who've... Who've, who've had talent. I mean, people like, you know, people using an old term who could dribble, so people like Peter Barnes, even, even Maranello when he played for Arsenal, at least he got stuck in. You know, but Mourinho, he won't, he won't make the effort. And unfortunately, on Saturday, we got in a situation where we had Petrov playing outside right, and we had Rubinho, and then we also had a situation when Benjani came on, and none of them players will get stuck in. They won't... You know, the great term today is they won't put the shift in. Well, isn't you know. that about players wanting to play for the club? Rubinho's turned up there, probably thinking he's coming to United for a start. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> he, 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 don't, don't tell me he knew about Man City before he went there. <laughs> Absolutely no way. He's gone there. He's, you know, he's, he's gone there for the money, obviously. He's, his heart's not in that club, and you're going to get that 
with a lot of players that are going to go to sea because they're going to purely go for the money. Well, I can't wait until we get the players who do want to play for us because we're not far off the pace at the moment, are we? Oh, with the players who don't want to play a, for us. It's been a funny season, you know, the likes of, uh, of Liverpool falling, falling from grace, thankfully. Um, you know, Chelsea dropping points, United dropping They've points. They've got the American so, Almond as well. Well, yeah, they're, they're in just as much trouble. Um, you know, neither Spurs or Villa, you know, really taking up that fight for the fourth place properly. Everyone's dropping play, points all over the place, and it's, uh, it's going to make it very, very interesting. So, you're right, but t- t- to fight for fourth place, you've got to have players who are going to fight for it. And I don't think that's happening at City at the minute. And I think, uh, you know, there'll be more of the same... Uh, against Everton, you know, they're those same kinds of di- displays from City, and then they'll, they'll drop off. I really do think my bet is safe. <laughs> right, well, these Spot two the pause for quid. breath. Well, these two <laughs> pause for breath, and me and Ian nip out to the chippy because we're doing it now. It's time for a quick break. Coming up, we'll hear more from Roberto Mancini ahead of tomorrow's clash. <laughs> 